Hi, it's Chef here at Prom Parts. Just want to discuss our silver chloride reference electrode and how you can use that for testing for stray currents on your boat. So stray currents are extremely damaging in the marine environment, especially on aluminium boats, but also fiberglass boats can be affected. So a stray current is when you have an electrical connection underwater or electrical connection that's in contact with the seawater. That could be in the bilge itself, or it could be externally on the transom, like a live bait tank, pickup, or a wash down pump or something like that. So with a silver chloride reference electrode, it's super simple to test for stray currents. You hang this in the water next to your boat with a standard multimeter that can measure in the millivolt scales. And you put your positive terminal of the multimeter onto your battery earth. And you just go around the boat and you turn everything on and off. Your bilge pump, your live bait tanks, your underwater lights, any electrical circuit on the boat. And you're looking for a change in voltage on the meter. So any change more than 10 millivolts indicates that you're putting stray current into the water. And a stray current in the water will develop into um, electrolysis, which is extremely corrosive to, um, to underwater metals. So in your boat, you should never have non-waterproof connectors. All of your connections should be a proper Duracealed connection with um, a glued heat shrink on it to ensure that you're not gonna get any electrical connections, or sorry, uh, stray currents underwater. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to put this non-waterproof connector into the water and we're going to turn on our underwater light. So while we're measuring our battery negative, we're going to be monitoring our voltmeter. So we've got minus 890 millivolt or minus 890 volts on the 890 millivolts on the meter. So as we turn our light on, we see that value jump up to 1.8, 1.7 volts. So there's um, a very bad leak in this, in this, in this tank with the um, live bait tank underwater. So that is creating a stray current. And all of the underwater metals um, that are in here are starting to dissolve. You can see there's actually bubbles coming off them now. So within a couple of days, you'll really see that those metals are, are badly corroded and pitted. Um, so if that was your boat in the water, uh, that could be damaging the aluminium hull, um, putting pinholes in it, rotting right through, or corroding away your prop shaft or your expensive propellers and, and underwater metals. So a very easy test to do. Um, turn everything on and off and just watch that multimeter. Okay, so this is a brand new propeller that we set up a test similar to this uh, a couple of weeks ago. So it was brand new, nice and black. We put it into a tank similar to this with a bolt in the water, much like our cable here, with 12 volts going onto it simulating a stray current. And this is the damage that occurred after just seven days. So for more information, go to promptparts.co.nz.